hundreds of thousands of discarded flip-flops arrive regularly at Ocean Soul, a Kenyan-based company. Joe Mwaki Remba has been working for the company for about 10 years. Ocean Soul was founded uh, on the premise of cleaning our oceans and waterways, at the same time employing lots of artists from high-impact communities here in Kenya. He says flip-flops are collected from weekly beach cleanups, waterways and dump sites and brought into their warehouse. They weigh the material and pay collectors about 18 cents per kilogram. Then, to prepare them for carving, they are first hand-washed one flip-flop at a time. The next stage for our smaller and medium sculptures, we have a die-cut machine that will punch out a template of a giraffe or a lion or, or a rhino. Those templates are joined together with glue, then carved out into that respective animal. For life-size pieces, the company reuses an additional material. Our bigger sculptures on the inside, uh, they use the polystyrene material. These come from shipping companies. They use them as insulation. When they get worn out, they throw them away. So the inside of the bigger pieces is this material carved out into the shape of the giraffe or elephant, then padded with the flip-flops. Using a machine, the pieces are then sanded before being cleaned again and readied for shipment. Florence Auma is an artist who's been working for the company for 14 years. She had to learn the art of carving from scratch. Started with washing, and then I started with blocking, and then I am the first female carver in this company. So I was carving. Now I am happy because I have so many things. I have many skills in this company. Skills that have allowed her to be able to carve just about anything like these coasters and to travel the world to showcase her talent. Maki Remba told us one of the largest pieces they made was a life-size car for a Honda dealership in Huntsville, Alabama that took 2,500 flip-flops and three months to make. Ocean Soul is now collaborating with a design artist from Uganda who lives in Finland and owns a gallery there in one of their biggest projects to date. Lincoln Kaiwa, who's used materials such as ceramic, granite, wood and glass, has decided to try something new with flip-flops. He recently traveled to Kenya to finalize a furniture project to be launched in April during Milan Design Week in Italy. The project, it has um, 14 different pieces, so you're just seeing just three of them. Uh, of course, it's a win-win situation. The more flip-flops are used, it means that the more uh, flip-flops that have been taken out of the um, environment. For me, that's the meaning of sustainability. In 2023, the company recycled about 750,000 flip-flops. This year, it aims to recycle about 1 million. Maria Majalu, VOA News, Nairobi.